Praise Jesus, boys and girls. May God bless you wherever you are. And today I'm talking about the womb of a woman. The womb of a woman. The womb of a woman is a sacred place. The womb of a woman is meant to be holy. The womb of a woman ushered Jesus without the help of a man. It ushered God in the physical realm, in the earthly realm, without the help of a man. Remember, God is a spirit. Ladies, when God has given you the privilege to carry life within you, to carry around and take care of destinies, that's why I always advise women, you cannot go around sleeping with men. You cannot go around dirtifying yourself and you carry the portal of life within you. In the book of Genesis 25, verse 23, the Bible is talking about a woman called Rebecca. She was a second wife, but she was barren. And his husband inquired with God. And one day God answered them and gave them uh, children. The Bible is talking while, while she was pregnant, the children were fighting each other, scrambling. And she asked himself, if these children are, these children are from God, then why am I experiencing all this? Watoto wanapigana kwa tumbo na kuruka ruka. And when Rebecca in, uh, uh, consulted God, listen to this. God told her, you have two nations in your womb. Can you imagine? You have two nations in your womb. Listen, because this is deep. As I was reading this word and trying to find something to inspire somebody today, a voice told me, go and research about all barren women in the Bible. And I met six barren women in the Bible. And all of them, they were righteous, they were holy before God, and they were very prayerful. They never slept outside the wedlock because of their barrenness. They never doubted their husband. They were praying to God. Listen to this. When these women were answered by God, their children were not kawaida children. All their children were men of significance. Men who brought glory to this world. Men who had supernatural abilities. Listen to me, you women, who go around defiling your womb. When you sleep with a man who is not your husband, you are defiling your womb. When you are having sex everywhere, left, right, and center, you are defiling your womb. The womb of a woman is the portal of life. The womb of a woman is, is where humanity meets divinity. God didn't work with Joseph to usher Jesus in. He worked with Mary. Meaning it, it, according to the way Joseph is fashioned, it was impossible to give birth and to, to woo a child in him. It's impossible a man to give birth and to woven to, to take care of a body, to, to, to give birth to another body. But it's impossible with a woman. The Bible shows where even when God was needed, in, when God was to be ushered in the earthly realm, Man was not needed, but woman was needed. So you young ladies and older women out there who, th who, you, who think they are very old, let's start with our mother Sarah. Sarah was a barren woman, and God blessed, him, blessed her. And the, that family with Abraham, they were told they will be a great nation. Listen carefully. It distress women. I understand. It distress women who 
are not yet having children, it is addition to a woman without a child. He, she might walk around bitter. She might hate other people's children. But if you are a barren woman and you know God, and you present your case to God, there is nothing impossible with God. Don't go around defiling yourself because your womb is closed. Women are carriers of life. Okay? Let me mention some of these, some of the women who 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 are who 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 are barren. Sarah, Abraham's wife, gave birth to a great nation. Rebecca, Isaac's wife, gave birth to two great nations. Rachel, the, the loved barren woman, the mother of Joseph and Benjamin, gave birth to great children. Remember, these are children of barren women. Uh, Manoah, Manoah, wife of the, the mother, Manoah's wife, the mother of Samson, was barren, gave birth to Samson. Anna, wife of Elkanah, gave birth to Samuel. Elizabeth, wife of Zachariah, gave birth to John the Baptist. Remember, one thing that is common with these women, they were all prayerful. And when God sees a woman who is righteous, seeking him, he does answer that woman exactly the way she has asked it. Remember the Bible is calling women the weaker sex. So when a weaker sex has decided to pursue God, even angels move. Women! Um, it's a man who does not know God that will leave a woman who is barren. You men who are out there and your women are not giving, don't leave them. The day God will open their womb, they'll give birth to not just a child, but a child sent direct from heaven. Ni mungu wanafunga tumbo za wanawake na ni mungu wanafungua. Remember Abraham. When Abimelech touched Sarah, the Bible is saying their womb were closed. Meaning, when a womb is closed, there is no life. There is no progression of that generation. <laughs> if you are a barren woman, seek God. If you are a husband and your wife is not giving birth, seek God. It's better that you die a righteous man without a child but a friend of God. Amen. <laughs> Don't sleep around trying to look for babies if you are a barren woman. Six women in the Bible, all of them barren. But God something for them that is peculiar. Every time they see God, when God is blessing their womb, it's all about great nations, strong men, strong children with character. Joseph delivering a nation, being used as a bridge to deliver a nation. You see, when a woman is giving birth to children from different fathers, it's confusion. Even in the spiritual realm, fight so much to give birth to a ch children from the one father. Our God is a God of order and not confusion. And for those of us who didn't know, now you know. Don't be in a haste to give birth. Give birth in a godly way. Don't be in a haste to, to, to have children. Can God trust you? 
Can God give you nations before because of your righteousness? God bless you. I thank you for your time. May this sermon inspire somebody. You are not less because you are barren. Women, walk around knowing your careers of life. Don't sleep with every man. Yes, the world is falling. This body, you can control it. It can obey. You can control your feelings. In Jesus' name. Amen.